we're back again. Sorry about the last video that got cut off, but unfortunately when I was doing the other video, I didn't realize that I ran out of time. Uh, the phone only has, I think, like 10 minutes of video time, so I try to make my videos as short as possible. So now that we're back, <laughs> we're going to do a, another video. Um, this one was actually requested of me to do, and it was about airplanes. And I have gotten rid of a lot of my airplanes over the course of the year and um, <clears throat> the time that I was moving to my new, uh, my new place. But I did acquire two new ones. So this one here I think is a Medusa or a Bulbosa. I think it's a Medusa. Um, picked it up at a local uh, uh, farm and garden center. I wrapped it in some copper wire to kind of so I can hang it real easy. Um, another one I got was this one here, which looks like a weed, <laughs> like a tumbleweed. But um, what I did was, I actually did, I think uh, it was on a Brad's greenhouse video. It was pretty much he super glues his orchids to mounts. So I said, well, why can't airplanes be super glued to mounts? So I did. I bought some gel super glue and got this guy mounted to a piece of cork. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, the super glue is kind of whitish over here. But that's because I sprayed it with alcohol because uh, alcohol actually has, acts as an accelerator uh, for the super glue. So now he's on here. He's easy to just dunk and rehang up. You can put a hook in the back, you know, all kinds of things. And this is my oldest one. This is a Ionatha, Talansia Ionatha. And this one is my oldest one, and it's been growing on a stick. I got this from Andy's Orchids. Actually, matter of fact, you can order these from Andy's Orchids. And I think Andy said he had this one hanging in his kitchen. Uh, his kids get a kick out of it or something for a while, and they just, you know, tired of it. But I'm also going to show you how to mount these. Now, this Ionatha is real easy to propagate and it's basically a giant weed right now. But what you do is you get in there and you got to find a new growing Talansia, not an older one, and just gently pluck it off. And this is what you get. This is basically what you're going to have, a new air plant. So, this little guy here is ready to go. I mean, you can let it dry overnight if you wanted to, but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna mount it. So instead of doing the wire, which is pretty easy, just wrap the wire on the body gently and use, I would use aluminum wire, not copper or anything harder because aluminum is easily bent and could be easily formed to any shape that you want. I picked out my mount, it's just a piece of cork you can get the cork like this, you can get from any pet store. You don't have to necessarily get it from, you know, uh, online orchid suppliers. I mean, I'm not trying to take away from their business, but if you need it in a pinch, you don't really have to go wait to get it from, you know, delivered. I know I'm not shamelessly promoting the product. I'm just showing that it is the type of glue. It is the uh, cyanoacrylic super glue, but this happens to be acrylic glue. I'm not, this says to shake well before using. So what we're going to do, as you would do with any project, is just find a spot on here you want your air plant to go. I think this little ledge right here might look nice. It'll give it a chance to kind of grow around it. So just put a little glob of it there. And I'm actually going to put a little bit on the back of the air plant. And we're just going to sit it there. And that's pretty much it. You just let it sit until the glue dries. Um, I mean, you could probably let it rest against it like this. This way it has contact with some of the body of the plant. And that way the plant looks like it's naturally growing from that shape or form. It'll look like this, like it's growing up and out of the, the cork. But you're really supposed to put a little tension on it too. But this gel super glue does not dry in 10 seconds, I'll tell you that. It does not. Especially when you're doing it with like living things. So we're just going to leave it sit. And once it's all dry, then it's ready to be, you know, put a wire through it or a hook and then hang it up. So, I mean, the care for these guys is pretty much bright and direct light, um, not direct sun. They can take some in the morning. Uh, the, the skinnier the leaf, if it's got real fine fronds like this, you're going to want to water it more than you would with something like this, which has thick, thick leaves on it. So you're going to really want to water this one more than you would this one. 
Um, the Ayanatha, I've let this dry. I've let this clump dry many, many, many times, and it does nothing. And when they need water, it'll show you. It's just going to have this, there's like a silver hue to the plant on this type. And you just basically, all you do is take it, dunk it, pull it out, shake it off, hang it back up. That's all you do. And you, could, you don't have to fertilize them, but if you do, you promote it to really push out a lot of little pups that grow around it, because these things are members of the bromeliad family. So they will produce these little offset pups. And if you don't know what a bromeliad is, um, your pineapple is a bromeliad, and I think a lot of your other air plants are bromeliads. Um, you know what? There actually was another air plant, and I'm actually going to break... I'm actually going to do something I've never done before. I'm actually going to probably get up, run back. So stay right here. Okay, now I'm back. <laughs> that was silly. I should never have done that. I should have had this right here. Shame on me. Anyway. This is an airplane also. This is uh, Talantia sinea, I think it's called. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. You often find these in the Home Depot or Lowe's or any grocery store and they're growing in a pot and they're standing up like this and they have the flower or the spike coming out the top. Well, um, I've seen these grown on Brad's greenhouse and he's taken them out of the dirt and putting them into just hung dry, like just hung them so they can just hang with their roots hanging out and they've done perfectly fine. This one I went and I stuck sphagnum moss in the back of this net pot here. So it's the back end of the plant is in the, the sphagnum. So if the roots are still looking for any sort of moisture, that it will find it in here, or it'll also give off humidity around the plant. I do miss this one. I just spritz it, and uh, I just hang it in a window like this. So you know way you can mount it is put them in sideways pots and let them hang like this. So this one here uh, is producing what they call, it's like a, it's, it's a spike of sorts, and then inside these little serrated edges are flowers. And this one will flower, it'll bloom, and then this mother plant will basically die. And then it'll produce a pup out of the side, unless I'm hoping. So hopefully this one will produce a pup. But this is another one you can grow as an as a, uh, air plant. And I think Brad on Brad's greenhouse did the same thing. So you guys can grow these. These are really easy. Just make sure you hang it somewhere. Like I, above me, I have skylights. You can just hang it in the skylight. So, I mean, really the care for these guys is simple. Um, don't use hard water on them. Like if you have hard water, try to use soft water. Um, you know, no, or not softened water because that has saline in it. Just make sure you use clean water, distilled water. Um, in the summertime, you can put them outside in a protected location. Uh, they get bright to filtered light and they'll be fine. These guys are really easy to care for. They take any fertilizer you want to give them. If you decide to give them fertilizer, I often forget. It doesn't matter though. Um, and then they'll bloom and they'll flower for you. I mean, if they don't bloom and flower in the first time you have them and they produce an offset or a pup, that pup may flower for you. So don't be discouraged. Okay? Well, like I said, there's really nothing to these guys. And I think, I don't know if he's actually been... Nah, it's not quite dry yet, but it's getting there. So... This is what this looks like. So now I can actually take a little hook, hang this just like this, and either he's gonna be happy up here or be really upset that I ripped him from the clump that he was in. But I don't think he will be. I think he'll be perfectly fine. And eventually he'll keep growing at the top and produce little pups from the side because I will give him plenty of water, plenty of light, and plenty of care. And then we'll see where he goes from there. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, as always, have a happy new year.